Can you? We, what we promised people when we passed the sweetened beverage tax is this was a solution for the next three years. Okay. That we would not be raising property taxes, sales taxes, whatever. That the solution, the sweetened beverage solution, put us on a firm financial footing, not just for one year, but for the next three years. And so commissioners would not to have would not have to take tough votes on revenue for that year, this year, and next year. Um, but. It's no longer true that we have that resource. So, so those taxes are on the table. I, th I think I said all options are on the table, and uh, what Amar said just a few minutes ago was there are three options: two hundred million dollars in cuts, some mixture of revenue and cuts that, that comes to two hundred million, or two hundred million in revenue from other sources. Those are the options. And do you have a preferred pardon me? option of those options? Do you have a preference? We submitted a balanced budget with two hundred million dollars in revenue. I understand that, but now that that, by the wayside, that's gone. It, you, do you have a, it, now you either have to raise revenue or make cuts or do some combination. What's your personal preference? And well, I think you have to understand we've already made one hundred and fifty million dollars in cuts. Yeah, but now okay. you still have two hundred million to go. What would you right. do? You know, everything's on the table. I'm not, I'm not going to commit to anything because I'm going to try to work with them to see what they come up with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, just. Throwing out a crazy thought here that I can't believe. It. Isn't a property tax a fairer way to do this than a tax on a product or sales tax? I'm just, I'm just asking. All right. So when I was a, a member of the city council, I routinely <coughs> voted for property tax increases because I agree with you. However, I spoke with every commissioner in the course of the budget process last year. Of the 17 commissioners, none, zero, were willing to support a property tax increase. I proposed a sales tax. I laid some things on the table. Okay, first property taxes, second sales tax increase. Two commissioners out of 17 suggested this would be a good idea. Only one of whom said she would vote for it. One of the Republicans suggested, "Why don't you just raise sales taxes?" I said, "Would you vote for it?" He just put his head down. You know. So we looked for a source of revenue. They would raise two hundred million dollars and had the added benefit of good of being good public policy, which is sweetened beverages. Do you feel you're being hurt by the other property tax increases that are taking place, schools, for example? The city, the schools, the increase in the income tax at the state level, the bag tax, yes, all of that. Would you revisit I guess a certain tax So it only taxes some that was a common critique. Everything is on the table. You don't feel that you have come. to be the leader here in deciding which of these three options you're going to follow. Because November 16th is not that far away, and you've got 17 commissioners probably with all their own ideas. We're going to work closely with the commissioners to see what they come up with. Um, the commissioners and our <coughs> separately elected officials, and we of course welcome the comments of, public, of the public. So we'll see what emerges from this process. You know, this, I, is, this, I know is, this is this is historic. I mean, this is this is historically what happens in democracies. The executive submits the budget, and then the legislature amends, modifies, or whatever, and passes the budget. You know, I, I know that in, in a way it's 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 a ship that sailed. But um, you, you know, when looking back, would you have done anything different with respect to the soda pat? Tax. I just I was just before I came here. I looked up Orange Crush at Walmart. I could buy it for four dollars and eighty-eight cents. So the tax would have been a thirty-nine percent tax on the Orange Crush, in, in addition to any other tax. And it reminded me once again why this is so unpopular. I'm not even sure it was so much that people didn't buy the argument it was for health purposes, but it was such a huge tax. And I'm wondering, if looking back, you know, you're you're a very savvy politician. Would you have done anything differently? You know. We needed $200 million in revenue. I just described to you what I did when I talked to commissioners. Here are things that would raise $200 million. We could raise the property tax, 200. We could raise the sales tax and get $200 million. We could raise the So that was the only option, even now, that's... Well, the other option would have been to try to cobble together maybe half a dozen or a dozen different taxes and ask the commissioners to take tough votes on six or seven different items. It seemed possible to do to ask them to take one tough vote okay. one tough vote and again just before we were looking at revenue options the world health organization would be happy to get you the report came out suggesting that nations local units of government um, tax sweetened beverages because of the worldwide impact 
of obesity and diabetes and heart disease and tooth decay. Um, good public policy isn't always possible or popular. But I think raising the revenue to support the, the services that we deliver in public health and our criminal justice system is the appropriate thing to do.